Hey Castle, it's LFF07 here for Let's Castle Chess, here to cover the 2022 Shocktober tournament, the last tournament of the 2022 season. And we do have three games to report on. The first game completed was between G-Strong 100 with the white pieces and Dr. Dion with the black pieces. G-Strong 100 started with pawn to e4, and Dion countered with pawn to e5. You eventually get the two, uh, you get the bishop's opening and the Berlin defense on the board with Dion's knight immediately pressuring the unguarded e4 pawn. G strong 100 defends it with pawn to d3 and then we steadily get development from the, uh, the two chess players. You get castle. And everything was fine until uh, Dion made the mistake of, there it is. He sees a discovered attack on his queen from the pinning bishop on g5. And he got spooked on his seventh move of the game. He played queen e8. When instead just taking the initiative and playing, let me take that queen e8 move back. If he plays uh, knight d4. And then you get, uh, you know, you're know, you taking the initiative and you're threatening the queen on f3. And then uh, he'll take back with the knight. And then you get bishop right here. And it leaves you with a bishop on a nice diagonal in the middle of the board. But instead, let's go back to queen e8. Queen e8, and um, that left G strong with two attackers on that f6 knight right here. You got the uh, the bishop on g5, and you got the queen on a f3, both attacking that uh, f6 knight, and it's only defended by uh, the lone pawn here on g7. So advantage G strong 100, and he took advantage, gobbling up the knight. Great move. Dion took back, but now his king is naked and exposed. Queen takes f6, finishes the exchange, and g-strong 100 is up a pawn looking to put this one to bed early. That queen e8 move was basically the turning point of the game. As uh, g-strong 100 maneuvered his knight over to score a quick uh, checkmate on Dion in 15 moves. So G-Strong 100 wins game one of their two-game set and earns a point. The next game I'll cover was Warpath Hunter with white versus Dr. Dion with black. Let's get to that game. <clears throat> Warpath, who's known for using very unorthodox openings, didn't let us down this time either, as he opened with pawn to A3, also known as the Anderson opening. Chess.com says this is a bad opening. Aim to <laughs> aim to give your opening, your excuse me, aim to give your opponent the first real move of the game. Somehow I don't think that was Warpath's intention. I think he just likes to play mental games with his opponents. Let's see if that was the case here. Dion smartly follows up with pawn to e5, taking control of the center. Warpath then plays pawn to c3. This is now known as the Saragossa opening, and according to the stats, Warpath Hunter has played this opening 210 times with a 50% win rate, so he knows what he's doing here. Going into uh, move 9, Dion is achieving good position. His king is castled, like you just saw, and the Eva bar has him ahead slightly. But then, Warpath plays bishop takes h7 check. Dion takes with the king, and then Warpath Hunter plays the great move, knight g5 check. Dion backs up his king, but uh, the better move is king g6. Let me take that move back. If he, moves his out to, if, if he moves his king out to king g6, and I know you get a little scared because that king is out of its home now. It's out of the cubby. 
But um, if Warpath plays Queen takes uh, G4, which he'll probably do, <clears throat> then you just throw a jab. Pawn F, pawn F5. Bam. And that'll back the queen to E2. And the position is even, as you can see on the eval bar on the left-hand side. But back to King G8. King G8. Okay. So then Warpath takes the knight for free. With queen takes G4. And Warpath is he's in the driver's seat right now. Warpath starts moving his A pawn to bust up Dion's defense. Queen H5. Warpath threatens mate. Dion thought he had alleviated pressure by getting rid of that knight with bishop takes g5, but that's the turning point of this game because that just allows for h takes g5. And now you have a beautiful queen and rook battery on the h file and a forced mate in four moves like the eval bar says on the left-hand side. So Warpath uh, dispatches Dion in 17 moves in this game and took game one with the white pieces, earning him a point. The third and final game in this video is a rematch. Dr. Dion with white this time versus Warpath Hunter with black. Could Dion avenge his previous loss to this man? Let's see. Dion start, starts out with his beloved bishop's opening. Uh, Warpath comes with the Berlin defense attacking the e4 pawn. It's unguarded with his knight. This game got intense very quickly when on move eight, Dion pushed his G pawn. He pushed it to G4 right here. Warpath actually sacks his bishop, but is looking for counterplay with queen with his queen as he played queen takes G4 check. Warpath is uh, looking to bring the knight in for help in checkmating Dr. Dion quickly and send him home with a malpractice suit. And that's what he eventually achieves as he checkmates Dr. Dion in 21 moves. It's a great performance from uh, Warpath Hunter. Right here. So Warpath Hunter is off to a fast start as he sweeps Dr. Dion and knocks his rating back to the triple digits. Dr. Dion is currently at 974. That's his current rating right now. He came into this tournament sporting a 1007 rating. Dr. Dion does not want to play in the triple digit tournament again next year. So he's got to start racking up some wins in this tournament. Getting back to Warpath Hunter, he now leads group three. Let me look at the uh, leaderboard. He now leads group three with two points. So he's off to an auspicious start. I'll keep you abreast of more Shocktober coverage. And for Let's Castle Chess, I'm LFO7 saying stay tuned and I'll see you soon.